Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, people, to the Wild That's Crazy podcast. Welcome back. Hey, guys, this is Kiana. Happy Sunday, Sunday. I hope everyone's enjoying this hot, humid, and end of summer. It's Summer is ending, guys. We'll be into fall soon. My favorite time of the year, fall, fall, fall. Mm, I'm you know a what? winter baby, but I enjoy the like heat the and the sweat. It's all right. I like the fall fashion. That's okay. it. But... Fall is my favorite season. Actually. Man, yeah, I love fall. Yeah, I love. It's I love the too hot. hot. Not cold. Mm-hmm. Nice, 80, 75 degrees. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, you get the leaves coming down. It's be cool. It's so wet though. And it's beautiful. Like, be but beautiful. it's wet. It rain a lot. Uh, but it ain't no crazy rain. It's that nice. Yeah. Have a drink, chill, read a book, rain. So <laughs> read a book. Read a whole book. <laughs> yeah, like, we have an author in the building. Please today. read a book. Read yes, a book. please. Read a book. Read a book. Reading is fundamental. Please pick it up. Literally. Now, before I introduce our guests, because we go first forty-eight er. So, <laughs> hey, <but, laughs> not first forty-eight. No, I'm not. Wow. Um, you're so in a I, safe place, Sharon. I yeah, promise you, you this. I, I told you this you. day. You are definitely in a safe place. So, um. People, it's been a week off, so be patient with me. But, ladies, how was your week? Mm, my week was busy. Mm-hmm. Like I always say, I ain't complaining. I'm breathing. My limbs work and everything limbs. is all my limbs, all literally. Limbs. And I've used them all, literally, this mm-hmm. week. Literally. It's been a hell of a week. Um, mm-hmm. People been on some real weird shit. That's about it. Energy's been all weird and shit. Just people been weird. I don't know. You know I can agree. Like, it's been a weird ass A lot week. of weird. Why are you being weird to me? me? Like, it's a lot of displaced, emotional shit, angry people out here. Like, they're displacing their anger. And it's like, I ain't the person did it to you. So, this has been a weird ass week. Like, I literally been literally burning a whole pack of incense. Because I be namaste in my ass every day. Yeah, literally. So, this week has been... It's been a week. What Damn. about you, James? What's your week? Oh. My week was crazy. I had a crazy week. Mm-hmm. Like she said, I can agree. And it's weird that I'm not the only person that feel like that. Mm-hmm. I thought that my energy was off. So I was staying to myself mm-hmm. in the house. It's going to be all three of us. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can wait since the day. Huh? The we word of the no, 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 is no. weird. Like, it's, yeah. yeah, it's been weird. So, you say you've just been having some weird vibes and energies. Yeah, going and on. I actually thought it was me, but you had to check you yourself. Feel the same. Yeah. yeah, I check myself all the time because sometimes it may be me. Sometimes yeah. it do be yeah. me. So, I have to check myself. But this week, it wasn't me at all. Like, I don't it was got no not problem me. saying if it was me. It wasn't me this week. I just was the recipient at this week. Like, literally, I'm like, oh, okay, you on that tip? Oh, you got punched too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but my week, my week, my week was crazy. It was all over the place. It was filled with crazy stuff happening at work, which is sometimes normal, but it's been a lot different. And it's just been crazy. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of stuff that I just don't understand, and a lot of stuff that's just motivate me and should be motivate you and motivate us to. Get to where well, we you already be. know how I feel about it. We talk yeah, about this all the time. That's a fact. Yeah, that's like fact. you know how I feel, and I, I'm, you know, we talk about this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I always tell you, like, listen. And yeah, we both been busy yeah. this week. Yeah, like it's it's literally it's it's a mental exhaustion at this point. You know yeah. what I mean? So there's different types of stress. Mm-hmm. So what it sounds like to me is mentally stressing you out at this point. Man, you know what I'm saying? So when something hits your mental, yeah. the physical is already going to be swiped yeah. out anyway, you know? Yeah. So that's what I go through. Like Monday through Friday, it's a mental exhaustion, but I'm trying to learn to cope and find things to deal with it mm-hmm. because just the reality of working, if you're working from somebody else, no matter what field you in, what job you're doing, it's going to be ups and downs. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's just that's what it is. So it should motivate you to go after and go harder for your own independence and your own type of financial gains. You know what I mean? Yeah. And by that's me being organized it. and a planner, it's just when stuff is not organized or the way I want yeah, it, it's kind of be crazy. It leaves me all yeah. over the place. Yeah. And I don't like that feeling of unknowing. But I did learn one thing this week, uh, this morning, just by going to church, just about. You know, even if you don't know, just have a faith. Lean in more with your yeah. faith. And, I, and I'm a big person in faith, but it's like I've never looked at it from that standpoint. Like just if you don't when you don't know extra hard and, and you can't do this because you can't plan everything. Just focus on the faith. Everything will be OK. And it's just like we just work and having a baby and just everything. It's just been a crazy week. And it's just been one of them 
where I feel like it's been a punching bag just mm-hmm. fucking me up this week. Yeah, I felt you. I felt you. Yo, just... I, I was like, yeah, something off with him because I'm like, you just went, yo, yo. And it's crazy because even through text, and it wasn't much being text, but, you know, just, yeah. but it's the sporadically texts mm-hmm. and how you text. I'm like, something going on with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's when I'm like, I'll let you be. I'm like, because I know you need time. Like, we sit here every Sunday and mm-hmm. we build this connection with each other because we're doing something together. So my, I know when you go on, because we talk about things yeah. like real life, you you engage, you got a baby on the way. I know you got shit going on and you have, you know, your kids here now, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot, yeah. but always I'm saying this to tell you, you're going to be all right. Like yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah. Like, you know, just... And I always tell you to take time for you. Like you got to yeah. sometimes just oh, I got this back week and to let take time be. for myself. No, mentally step back. Like yeah. if it ain't priority, cause you got to take care of self care is, the top priority because mm-hmm. if you ain't together then nothing around you is going to be together and i'm seeing that yeah now. so seeing that now. literally like you got to really take a step back and that's just me telling you because i know you you got a lot going on i got a lot going on we mm-hmm. all got a lot going on but for some reason this week i'm like something going on yeah like you got because it's just your energy like just was you wasn't it was just like you were not yourself as if mm-hmm. you was like it was always oh when i can when i can i hit you if i can i'm like what is wrong with him but i'm like i don't pray because you know i don't yeah, prime yeah, people yeah. when you're going through stuff i let you if you yeah. want to tell me you tell me i don't prime mm-hmm. people business that's just something i don't do yeah but you're gonna be all right yeah it's just it's just the fear of the unknown and stuff yeah you know? but life and is then it's a lot yeah yeah i know but like i'm used to having stuff on my plate i'm used to being yeah. busy i'm used to being all over the place but it's like when I can't control it and I need to control it. Huh. And it's just like, oh, shit. when I tell you I am a planner and I've been looking at wedding stuff. I'm so I have never been this perplexed <laughs> in my life. Oh, I need a wedding real. planner like I can normally map and air out things. And when I say. My fiance, he ain't, he just sent back like whatever you want to do is, yeah, we go, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. men do. I'm like, so you ain't gonna tell me what want. color, no, no nothing. I'll be throwing no. stuff at him and he ain't saying that. I'm like, okay, now nah, I see what it is. Do whatever you want. I'm do. like, I don't know. Like, I literally, so my mind, I'm doing that. We trying to find out. We got a lot going on. And then I'm still trying to enjoy this engagement because it's like, it's hit me day by day. But like, when somebody asks you to be their wife, then I ask them to date you or just for right. Like, that's a whole big deal because if I wanna do it, I wanna do it right. And I wanna give mm-hmm. it, I, I wanna change the dynamic of wives you know what i mean and what we bring to the table because in this era everybody's so negative about love commitment and i know that it's real it took me longer than it mm-hmm. but it's i got and i found my man when it was time for me to find my man mm-hmm. so i want to change the, the narrative and the dynamics because i want young girls to really aspire to be with a man Mm -hmm. put your foot down and you know be deserving of what you're asking for but believe Mm -hmm. in love because it's such toxic people out here talking negative about marriage just everything and i want to change that dynamic so that's what i work on like i want a happy marriage and i want to be happy but i want it to be successful Mm -hmm. so you know i want to have things in place and i say all that to say i am like i'm so perplexed i don't know how to plan, plan a wedding like yeah. I don't know nothing besides who I want to be in it. Yeah. I don't even know the colors, the day, the location, or nothing. Like I'm just, so perplexed. Like, this and I, I swear do. it's crazy. And this is what I try to tell women to do. And after this week, it's yes, we don't get to you, Sharon, but this is yeah. just our little minting. It's yeah, like our therapy. Off, so it's hard yes, to like we we do this how we you know we hash out whatever we going through because it's real in the field over here. Listening. But like do this, Listen. do this, do this. Like watch a wedding movie, watch uh look at a wedding book, but watch a video. No, no, like and then just pinpoint everything. I tried it. My one of my favorite movies, and this and this is not a cliche, but I even before I met my fiance, I liked this movie, and this was Jumping a Broom. Yeah, I like going. simple, something that's you know just nice outdoors. That's what I and that don't even inspire me because it's like I like the movie, but the wedding don't really inspire because it's not me. I want it to be a combination of who I am and who he is. Yeah, but that's when you, know you know figure I mean? out the food. The dress, <laughs> the shoes. Well, the I know bridesmaid. the dress and my who I want in the party. How many bridesmaids? You know, I'm simple. My my little sister is gonna be my maid of honor, but I let me tell you, when you <laughs> get married, you start looking at people that yeah. like who I believe whoever you have in your wedding party, that's somebody that's been your day one. It ain't never been no shade, no sneaky. When you up, they up. When yeah. you down, they down with you. Like that's a big deal because if you are part of my ceremony and me, you know, this is God. You putting God into play. So I want people that I know rock with me. And at this moment, only person I can really think about is my sister. I mean, that's my, I know it ain't no shady shit. It ain't yeah. been, you know what I'm saying? And that's sad. I'm like, damn, because I'm really, loyalty is a top priority for me. If I can't trust you or have loyalty with you, I can't rock with you. Mm-hmm. Like, that's really deep. So my little sister, and that's all sad. And I was telling him, because I know he has a group of him and his friends. I'm like, 
look, you're gonna have to maybe pick one person because I don't know. I know, so I got other people, but I just want to like kind of keep my eye on it to see because I ain't right. You know, if you ain't rocking with me, rocking with me, and I mean people that been happy when I was single out here in dysfunctional ass dating world Mm -hmm. that was rocking with me, people that's genuinely happy for me. That's who I want at my wedding party. I mean, it ain't never been no negative. And it's so hard to have that connection with people nowadays. So I'm I'm really on the fence. Like my little sister, because she's I'm a she's a part of me. We was cut from the same womb. So I know you got that loyalty. You my little sister. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm an input on your life. So I know you 100. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's definitely gonna be my maid of honor. But outside of that, I don't know. Like I'm so I got a lot to do. I guess I was just curious if you was yeah. gonna be a bridezilla or not. I no, was just about to say I'm really not the bridezilla. <laughs> I'm really Please, not. You know why? Crazy. Because uh the things that really are like perplexed to me is my dress. When I step out in my dress, everybody gonna be at all. Because yeah. that boy gonna be a badass. You know I'm <laughs> I mean I'm gonna be snatched, okay? Yeah. Not overly done. I'm I'm gonna still look like me, but I'm that dress gonna be bad. And then how I have my wedding party because I want y'all representing us. So y'all definitely and I ain't gonna have no little whack. I'm up here looking good in my bridesmaids yeah. got on these old ugly ass dresses. Yeah, no. that's easy. <laughs> I'm gonna let people like be themselves too. Like, you know, make sure they like what they mm-hmm. putting on or make sure they feel comfortable, you know, things that make like for hair. It ain't gotta be that regular ponytail to the bag that everybody have. You know, the sip the you know ponytail and mm-hmm. you just do that and that's it. Like I want them to have like I want they hear if it's straight. I wait. I'm it's gonna be it's yeah. gonna be beautiful. So I gotta I'm not a Brazilla, but I am a Brazilla with myself, but I'm not putting it off in the okay. energy. Like I literally I need a planner. So yes, guys, I need it. I'm struggling. But anyway, it's not about me today because yes. we have black girl magic yes. in the no, I mean, <laughs> you know. I can go on and on and on because I'm still on cloud nine because I'm really literally like I As take love be. serious. Like it's a real deal for me. And I like we talk about this, like it and, and this is what's my friend, you know what I mean? And I haven't never had a man love me the way he do. That's so true. that's what I'm like, that's I true. and he's a he's a good man, he's a good ass man. This this will be my cousin. <laughs> Since we're talking, Sherry, you know, this is my cousin yeah. to be. Yeah. So, That's you know what I'm talking about when I say it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. So, and it's, it's I'm happy. And it's a, I've been getting a lot of dry ass energy from people since I've been engaged. It's so mm-hmm. weird because you would that think happens. people would be excited for you. No, but people happens. just be like dry. And it's like they mad as if, like, why are you mad though? Yeah. Like, people don't really be happy for you. If I be in a lot of dry, just dry. Like, damn, I got engaged. Like, <laughs> damn, is it like. <laughs> Why people are not happy, so, but I'm basking in the happiness. I'm excited. I love, I'm in love. I'm happy and I'm perplexed because I really want to have this wedding, but I don't want it to, you know, take over the relationship mm-hmm. and other big things we got going on. So I'm kind of not rushing to get the wedding done. We got other things that we want to have in place. Right. And then we'll get to that, but it's going to come. You guys are going to be very pleased. And you're going to be stressed out because he just going to sit back and Because he been sitting everything. back. Like, I'll be saying stuff. He's just like, oh, yeah, you know, well, yeah, you know, you know, I hate you. Know. Oh, gas not I'm giving like, really? You nothing. It's for you to figure out. And you ask us which one. This one or that one. But you got to at least say a color. Uh, give me some help. Look, a color or a location. You're going to say, hey, you like these shoes right here? Which one you like? Uh, I like the black ones. You like you sure you I was like gonna the, pick the, I was gonna pick the other one. No. Now we look at oh shit. See, this one you know what he <laughs> like, you know what no, he said real. to me. He so just worried like, about the cost. He like, well, yeah, we're not having this said, that X amount of dollars wedding because that's what he because he about business with him, and that's why I love him because he about business. He's okay. So go from, organized. Go from the most important business. to the least okay? important. I love it because he be on it. I'm telling you, down to the pair of socks we're gonna work for the day. He'd be like, Well, hey, these work better because the elastic on them fit better. Like he's that kind of nerdy, <laughs> no, and I love good. it. I love it, me. but you know what I'm saying? Like he's really everything, like he be on it. So, but he gotta help me out. So I know, baby, listening, tap in, tap in <laughs> all the way in. Help help me out. I know you hate give me a color. I love my rest tap. <laughs> I, I know yes. You say that shit. Yes. I really, but no, I don't really be doing him. I don't say that to him though. No, I'm just I don't. Saying that to him. That's your saying. Yeah, but you know, it's all crazy because your relationships be different than with your friends. So when I talk to him, it's a different yeah, type of, you know. Like yeah. He like, yeah, every man like a little. 
a little ratchet in that girl. I'm sorry. I'm from the East Side. No, I grew up on East Side. Just be funny. <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying it is ratchet, though. Like, it is what it is. No, it's ratchet itself. That's good. There's you nothing professional it. about tapping in. But I like tapping in. I do, too. Like but, it's, but it's ratchet, though, right? Yeah. So every man like a little ratchet in a lady. Yeah, you yeah. want her to be ratchet you when it's to time to be. Right. Absolutely. So, yes, he knows what he got. He That's why he asked. Forever, ever, because it's forever, ever. <laughs> it ain't no ending. This girl is. Funny. It ain't no end. But Sharon, black girl magic in the building. Oh, Without God. further ado, the author, beautiful black girl magic at its finest in Detroit, very own. Yes, yes. That's let's say Detroit's very own. We had the bell. We can ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yes, so tell you, us about yeah. yourself. Tell us about yourself. So. I am the only child, but I was raised like around my cousins. Mm -hmm. But we was raised like sisters and brothers. Like, okay. We were raised in like we were raised <laughs> in the same household. We was raised like sisters and brothers. So I wasn't really the only child for real, but y'all get where I'm going with it. Yeah. Um, I am 29 years old. Okay. And I don't have any kids. So I'm just out here living. Living, living, living. 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 Really yes, I do want okay. kids. How I many? I actually want identical twins. Okay. Girls or boys? Boys. Okay. okay. Yeah, I pray for a boy. I want a boy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I want to be a boy, mom, because I want him to be like, yes. mom, you need something. Yeah, yes. let him checking on his mama yes. when he get older. Like, make sure my mom. I want that love because yeah. I see it with my mom and my brother, and I love it because my brother be he for his mama. So make yeah, sure his mama's yeah. Straight. yeah, yeah. Make sure your mama good. Yeah. 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 So, what got you into being an author? Yes, talk what about made you it. Want to write a book? So, I, I always wanted to write a book, but I just didn't know what I wanted to write about. Mm -hmm. So, death just kept hitting me, like just coming back to back to back to back. So, mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out a way, like, okay, how can I, like, vent? Like, who can I talk to? But Okay, even though you you probably lost your cousin or you lost your friend, but we're still not gonna feel even though it's pain, but it's different. Which, right. It's, it's a different. level, like yeah. it's different levels to it because everybody has, you know, different relationships. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So like with my cousins, I can go to them, I could talk to them about everything, but we're the type that we wanna be like, okay, I gotta be strong for him or I gotta be strong for her. Yeah. So we're not gonna show no signs of weakness. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I can't really go to them. So it's like, all right, I'm talking to my friends. But then we're all grieving about the same person. So it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I can't go to them. So I'm going to my cousins, of course, the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go see a therapist, right? Mm -hmm. We would I was so like mentally like my mental was really messed up because I was bottling a lot of stuff in. Yeah. So I was inventing to people like, if I go home, I do whatever I have to do at home. When I come back, oh, oh I'm smiling. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So I go see the therapist. She was from uh, the Philippines. Okay. But she was around like 32 or something. Okay. So we was just like a few years of age. Mm -hmm. So, um, I wouldn't break to her. So I'll go see her. Mind you, I didn't have insurance at the time because I was working for Chrysler. Mm -hmm. So I was paying out of pocket. <laughs> okay. But I was mm -hmm. so messed up. I'll be sitting here looking at her like, <laughs> what? Like, what, what you going to talk mm -hmm. about? Right. Mm -hmm. Because it was like, I didn't, yeah, I didn't know her. how to express myself. Yeah. And I don't know you. Like, yeah. I'm coming for help, but this your job. So yeah. help me. Help yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, she ended up breaking to me. Like, we... You know, like, you're not really supposed to, like, build a relationship yeah. or whatever. But because we were, like, so close in age, we, like, built the relationship. So we were, uh, you know, she'd be telling me about, you know, where she came from. She moved here with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So she was from the Philippines. He got her all the way here and did her so wrong. She didn't have no family, no nothing. So she basically was telling me, like, I really want to go back. Like, I really want to go back home. So we vent and like, she, she talking to me, I'm talking to her. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, it was really like a mind thing. Like I knew that I didn't really need her for real, but it was just like, all right, I just want to talk to somebody from mm -hmm. a different, like, give me something different. Somebody like, that don't somebody, know right, anything you don't know about, nothing you. about you. You can't me. judge me. Exactly. You don't know my background. You don't know what I've been through. Exactly. It's a complete stranger because they have nothing to judge you and they're just listening. 
Mm-hmm. And they're building this certain person, you know, this perception of you by what you're telling them. And that's the best. Sometimes that's a that's a pure connection because they don't know you. Yep. Yeah, that's the purpose of a therapist. And I wish people would tap in and go see them because it's yeah. really helpful. Yeah. 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 So um, we basically was talking. So her last week before she was um, about to go back home, she ended up telling me, like, um, you're the first client that I'm telling, but I'm going to go back home or whatever. <laughs> My heart was broke. Like, what? <laughs> I, you mean to tell me you have to go back home and I've been <laughs> laying my life <laughs> on the like, line? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so she's sad. I'm sad. We yeah. here, like, you know, I'm like, you know what? But I didn't get mad at her or whatever because yeah. I know that at the end of the day, outside of this room, you're human too. So yeah, that's right. I just was, she just pushed me, like, still to this day. She, I can like hear our conversation or her, like, that's the motivation. Good. And then, like, my cousin, uh, I'm Duca. <laughs> so he's okay, he's in Cali, like he doing his thing. Like we was together. Like that's um I mentioned him in the book, like that's my cousin, but like okay. my brother. So sorry. It's okay. okay. No reason to be sorry. Um, <laughs> we literally like share everything, like I said, and that they older than me, but I was the only child. So still I was there with them. What he's doing right now is like. I love it. Like, mm-hmm. so I know that his grind is going to be different from mine, but I know mm-hmm. that you could do anything that you want to do. So speaking about motivation, what motivated me, my therapist and my cousin. Okay. That's mm-hmm. what's up. That's, what, that's what's You're up. a stranger and a, someone that's near and dear He's to two you. Two good people. Two good beautiful people. Beautiful combination. And he probably don't yeah. even know. Like, well, he know now. Hello, Duca. <laughs> you know now you inspired her to get through it. It was like, mm-hmm. so from what you're saying is you put your grief into a book and you, so it, do you ever think that maybe the therapist, like you saying, like that whole little connection? Because I believe in, like, that's you know, like things are destined. Like yeah, your I connection is meeting with people because you g- grieving. Like it's so weird because I talk about this all the time. My father was absent from my life, but I built a connection with him during the end of his life. Right. That when he passed, when I say that shit hit me like a ton of bricks. Like I had nobody to talk to it because everybody around me just. You know, sometimes you ain't got nobody that you can go and that can feel that pain. So with that being said, getting through grief is a lot. And it's a it gets better with time. But memories is what help you get through it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's what I learned from it. But you put yours on paper and you <laughs> see the yes. thing about me. The memories is the hardest for me. Like, so you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it is new grief to you? It's kind of still fairly new. So because it's stages of grieving. Like yes. I'm at the. I met the, it's like, I went through the acceptance, like, damn, like, I really was building a relationship with him, and he just died. Like, I went through those. I was pissed, because I felt like I had stuff to say to him. Right. Like, it's a stage of going through grieving. I agree. When you get towards the part where you, it's like acceptance, you just, memories and just the connection or whatever you have left from that relationship, because it's just a physical being that's no longer, yeah, see, I'm a girl. Oh, uh, <laughs> I want to go home, okay? I like my home. I'm a visitor here. It's like, really, like, I want to go back to my home, okay? Yes, but, so it's like a, it's stages. So once you accept it, then it's like the memories. You're going to be like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be, when you, like, when you have you some good spirit juice, is what you call it. I call it spirit juice because it bring out spirits in your ass. So you're going to start exactly. having those memories and laughing and feel those connections because I feel like the physical is just, it's just a body. But your soul and your spirit, that's why people need to be right so they can have a good soul. Because people out here, the toxic, we don't need it. But yeah, you know, so your spirit lives on and you connect with it. I'm telling you some deep shit, Sharon. You're going to tell me later on, a few years on down, when you finally get, you're going to be like, it was right. Because you you can only get through it with yourself. People exactly. help you get to a place yeah. where you can develop the, you know what I'm saying, the tools you need. But you're going to have to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's another yeah. reason why I wrote the book was because yeah. every day I'm living, okay, I'm out. I'm partying, I'm drinking, mm-hmm. okay, I'm having a funky good time. Yep. Everything is everything. But when I'm sober, I'm facing reality. Like, oh, mm-hmm. no, I can't, like, okay, I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't. So then I drink again. But that's creating a habit that yep. I don't need. Yeah. Yep. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready to face reality now. Like, yep. okay, so one thing that stick with me forever, like when uh Maya passed away, is my cousin. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just drinking heavy, like, why? Like, what? Like, this is, I'm like, this ain't it, true. I can't under, could understand. Yeah. So I'm drinking every day, every day. So we got a a, a family, like, group chat or whatever. So we tap it in with it. We yeah. tap it in. My bag. My bag. <laughs> so I can see him not tapping in. Yeah. His text probably be so 
Like you're reading out a textbook. It's so <laughs> professional. Everything. I love it. Commas, yes. Period. Yeah. Everything. Is, it's got to be precise. I love it. Though. But love we, it. Uh, we tapping in with each other. We checking in on each other or whatever. So they like, what you doing? Me. I'm drinking. Uh, So me and big fella, we uh texting or whatever. And he. So we were texting. He checking in. I'm checking. I'm acting like everything, everything. But it really wasn't. Mm-hmm. So I get on Facebook. But then I see him make a post saying something like uh, he could be doing other things as far as like drinking, but he want to remember these, not the exact words, but he's basically saying like he want to get through this pain so that he don't have to, you know, come around and face reality again, Mm -hmm. which me, I was doing it as backwards. I'm drinking every day, trying to run from reality. (laughs) And it's just like, it caught up with me at the end. So, but I think about that a lot because that's like real. Yeah, it's, it's real. Yeah. And it and like I said, like girl, I was angry at this man for he did my like I'm like my I was talking to myself like my daddy didn't dad on me. I had stuff to say. I felt some type of way, but that was my part of my grieving. And it's like it's real, but you get through it in your time. And then just that's why I always tell people self care is essential because without yes. self care, you can't mentally get through shit in everyday life. Let alone the passing of someone. Mm-hmm. So it's Absolutely. just it's real. But yeah, you got it, girl. This book is deep, honey. <laughs> so with the book, yes. everything is mostly everything is true. But because some of the people that's in that book was murdered, I had to like put it into mm-hmm. story format. Yeah. So yeah, it's like yeah. that was really like venting for me. And then as I was writing, it's like I had to. I was looking myself in the mirror basically when I was right it's like mm-hmm. I went through it all over again but this yeah. time it was it wasn't like the the people weren't coming around it wasn't no look it was really like me and I'm writing down mm-hmm. you know what's really going on I'm mm-hmm. putting my feelings on paper for real yeah. but I just turned it into a story and I'm like all right but before this book I used to just like I used to do self-care Sunday or whatever I'll do like the sage thing and, mm-hmm whatever and then i'll just be writing like poems or whatever but that wasn't cutting it for me (laughs) can i interject for a moment since you brought up sage girl i don't sage because sometimes you sage and some shit that you don't want to be saged (laughs) out listen i had to read i have to a whole i bought some and i was like let me just i'm a googler i need to because i'm all about like i'm a spiritual person so i tap in like energy and shit be real with me so i'm like sage they say it can awaken or bring upon i said oh no 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 no. hell no 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 sage in here so be careful with that sage you better get you some good old incense she scared me with sage i'm like i I told him i'll be like no do not because if some shit start popping off up in your place and you wonder why some weird shit popping off because you can (laughs) when the ruta and shit is real they say i don't know nothing about it but i'm just saying (laughs) No say you don't say yeah I'm, but girl, it makes sense it. what she said yeah it like just get some regular ass incense you can do it on amazon you can get it at the beauty supply we black we go to the beauty supply <laughs> we all about here of course so the beauty supply got a dollar 49 regular smell good incense no saging no <laughs> but go ahead i just wanted to say that like no, don't. yeah i was real like heavy mm-hmm. on like the self-care yeah you know? Okay, so other than sage, what else please don't, because I'm telling you, share girl. I'm telling oh, you. what did I? Do? <laughs> I told you, like I told you, I'm I really wanted yeah. to know to the sage, but you write it. You no, you, you scared me about that sage. I, I don't play with no sage because you don't know what you, you what, what you doing with it. Would you just? But it makes up, sense like, what, what she's you, saying though. Yeah. When you think about it. If you gonna sense. really go there, you gotta learn how to stay on the surface. But I'm not into all of that shit, so I'm not trying to awaken <laughs> nothing. I'm gonna burn the incense where I know it just smells good. It's a little smoky. And namaste. That's what you, you know what I'm saying? But she all the other a lot of scary movies. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I'm really like, I like yoga and I do it. So I really get into like, that's the best, best self care. Just peace, quiet, no TV, no phone, no nothing. And just that's what else. Yeah. yeah. Like meditating or whatever. Yeah, meditating, do you get deep into it? Like, lost, <laughs> like fall asleep? Like, you can so, kind of zone out in it. Yes. That'd be my problem. So you just pay, but it depends on how my like okay so I usually do it on Sundays okay. so it depends on my week like if my week was rough I'll be thinking about what happened during the week or whatever so it really depends on like how my week was okay yeah. but if I had like a smooth week I'd be like falling asleep yeah. I don't know how y'all do that I, I was do doing it. I would do yoga yeah. drinking wine it wouldn't work out because I'm I taking away the whole purpose yeah. you're supposed to be clear minded and I'm like this ain't working sis like you gotta do. Yoga yeah, with I a clear no libation. Shit I gotta do throughout the week. And you start giving me your feeling. Then I get mad that I can't be quiet in my uh, own head. Your own head gets That's crazy. Talking. We talk too much to your own head. Because some of the too. best conversations be with yeah, yourself. Sometimes yeah. nobody can rock or fit, rock what you like. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But yeah, sharing so. So explain the yeah. um, process of the book. 
like far as like uh okay you said how you started how did Mm -hmm. you figure out who to go to Mm -hmm. who to connect with and how to put it out explain that process okay so of course we scroll social media all day Mm -hmm. so i'm scrolling social media or whatever so a lot of people that i was around was following between the line publishing that's the option i put okay um the lady that I was going to all the time to like make custom stuff for me, like whether it was like um, Halloween costumes or mm-hmm. whatever it was, CDK, mm-hmm. she went through them to get a book. So I'm like, okay, let me get in contact with them. So I DM the girl mm-hmm. and we were just, you know, going back and forth. She was real patient with me because I was asking a lot of questions because yeah. of course I had, you know, heard about stories mm-hmm. with celebrities, mm-hmm. you know, they done got bamboozled out yeah. the contract wow. with books, all kind of stuff. Um, so I was kind of which... like nervous about mm-hmm. it at first, but she basically like sent me to break down and everything. So I'm like, all right. So I slept on it for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So then I went and I talked to my cousin Zay about it. Of course, we talk about everything. That's my okay. first cousin. Um, She like, go for it. Da, 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 da. But of course she thought I was playing. So she was listening, but you know, I say a lot of stuff, but Mm -hmm. when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to really do it. Mm -hmm. So I looked at the contract again. I'm like, okay. So she sent me the breakdown of like the contract and okay, for the publishing, it's going to be this much. For the editing, it's going to be this much. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to charge per page, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I sat back, I let like a few months go by. Because I didn't just want to jump into it. Mm-hmm. So I finally got in contact with her. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready. So, you know, we talking. I had to come. So it'll be like you give her a certain amount of money every certain chapters. Okay. So I'll come because I wanted it to be true. And then I wanted it to like throw it off a little bit. Mm-hmm. I came with two to three chapters and then she matched me. Okay. And then we did like Zoom and like FaceTime meetings. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll read to her what I got. She was taking notes like she was so good with it. Like mm-hmm. she's typing, taking notes. And then she's like, OK, give me a few days and then I'm going to email you what I got. And then you tell me what you like, what you want to change. And then we did that. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. So we did that all the way up until eight chapters. OK, so when I first first met her, <laughs> I was so nervous mm-hmm. talking to her because it was like, like I said, this was like me facing my own reality. So yeah. mm-hmm. when I was uh, in a, on a FaceTime meeting with her, she's like, you nervous? You okay? You okay? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not okay. <laughs> so no, then she's like, okay, we can just meet. And then we had set up another yeah. date. So we set up another, another date. I gave her like my two chapters and then we were just going, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But through the whole process, she was so like understanding. She was motivating me too, because I was getting frustrated with a lot right. of stuff. And then as far as like financial, I was on Zadria like, okay, listen, mm-hmm. <laughs> I need <laughs> until <laughs> because I got to pay this. Yeah. My bill, you know, it was just a lot with me, like trying to write a book um plan it uh like mm-hmm. it was just it was a lot mm-hmm. and then i'm like a picky person yeah so i wanted everything to be perfect yeah mm-hmm. no wrong with that <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it no. so the process it was it was crazy i was like i'm young i couldn't sit down so shit, i'm on the plane writing mm-hmm. um i'm at a pool party i'm like wait you're about Every to get my mafia. nose wet mm-hmm. <laughs> um it was just like i'm writing it, I was, my mom like, when did you have time to write a book? I'm like, see, you 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 don't even know, because oh, yeah. I never really told them that I was gonna do that. I just yeah. ran it across Zay, and then I just ran with it. But yeah, the process was crazy. Like everything was perfect all the way up until the end. Like I'm talking about the last week up until the day of. Like, mm. okay, so. I was supposed to um, get my books through Amazon. Mm-hmm. So I paid the money or whatever. I sent the money to the publisher. The books wasn't going to be back in time. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like yeah. what? So I had to find a local printing shop. Okay. To, okay. So that was more money because it was like last minute mm-hmm. or whatever. And rushed. Yeah, <laughs> it was rushed rush or mm-hmm. it, everything. So, it, okay. My outfit didn't come. My shoes didn't come. Everything was just going. So my car even started. 
everything was just going wrong. But I'm, I'm like, what? I- that means you know a blessing coming. Yes, keep going, keep going. yes. Nothing just, comes easy. And let me tell you, when you knock one goal out, it's like, oh, go, oh, devil. Because you know he always trickling, yeah. trackling, hitting, sending his little apps people out. Cause they, you know. Yeah. So it's like this and that. But girl, I told you, you look beautiful on your, yes, your you day. Did. I did. I told you probably about 10 times, girl. I told you so damn much. You probably got tired of my ass. So I did. And that, I, appreciated I told you that. a million times because you was like, I don't know. I'm like, you, I always told you this, even from the time I I'm like, even I, you can even ask your cousin. I was like, Sharon is a beautiful girl. You have a you naturally pretty. I'm Thank telling you. you, that's better over anything because you can girls be having all of that, but that face, you can't change that mug. And that, it's beautiful. So I always said that. And your hair is Thank beautiful. You. I said that you. about you. I'm like, so with that being said, it ain't much you got to do. And then you got the product. It don't matter about it's here. It's in the flesh. So yeah. And I tell you, yeah. I was running around yeah. like crazy. Like the night before the event is when I picked, went and picked up these yeah. books. Like I was so nervous. But it was just crazy because at at first I felt like, am I really doing this? Like, yeah. oh my God, yes, like I'm true. like, I really, I wanted to write a book forever, but I just didn't know what I was going to talk about. Yeah. But yeah, the process was hella, it was crazy. It was hella crazy. So how long, how, how long do you think it took? Okay. So like, I know not the exact, but like but close to it. No, like it can. was because I had to like sign the contract. Yeah. Um, I want to say I started this the last week in May. So it took me like two months. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. That seemed yeah. like good timing. Yeah. yeah. That ain't bad yeah. at all. I was falling asleep writing. Like, like some people can't even <laughs> write a paper in a damn a, a <laughs> week. A, a short essay. A essay. Like, like 250 words. Your ass can't write that and proofread it and submit. <laughs> so <laughs> but who you wrote a whole book in two to three months. Read. Like give yourself some credit. <laughs> Girl, yes. Who was the uh, first person you let like read? Yeah. Um, so like my everyday people that I was with every day, like Zay, my best friend, Janique, whatever. Um, I was like reading it to them, like, all right, what you think? Mm-hmm. Uh, it'd be nice where we had come in from the club. I'm like, okay, what I'm supposed to meet with this lady <laughs> in the morning, like, give me a line where I could just pick up on, like, help me. Yeah. So it was like really them two, like, Zay, she really read the whole thing because mm-hmm. when the editor sent it to you, they'd be like, okay, well, you have. 42 hours to whatever you want to change and let me know what so I mm. I got when I tell you I read this book through the eat it was so hard on the phone I'd be yeah. reading it and then it'd go all the way back up to, I was so sick so you gotta start at the top that's why I liked in college we had paperback like now it's the digital <laughs> no uh-uh. I was so now. sick of reading this book mm. I, I don't know about heart yeah, I got my favorite chapter. Girl. What's your favorite chapter? Loyalty is what? Oh, loyalty is Because loyalty is definitely <laughs> law with me. So I love it. It was grimy. Yes, it was so east sad. I'm like, this sound like, this sound like, like some east side story. Like, oh, I just get the whole, when I read that chapter, I just felt like the block, the neighborhood, like back in the day, like the neighborhood right. where it was, we was kids. So we really didn't know that everything around us was fucked up. Like the right. stuff that was going on, people like just gangs is whatever. But the fact that we didn't know, it just made it a, we had real childhood. Yeah. Yes. I, knew, I, knew it I did like I would be <laughs> like stepping what? on the needles. I knew it <laughs> Well, see, I ain't like like I said, I always tell people I'm from the it's a different. It's not it's a hood and it's a neighborhood. I'm from the neighborhood. So I didn't have that experience. It's different levels. Like I would go and I have friends or even have family, because we all got families that yeah. you know, we all everybody different. Yeah. So I had that versatility I have at home where it was peaceful, then I go over to so a house, it was hood. I was like, yeah, I like the hood. Good time. Yeah. Like I love <laughs> but it. But it's time to go home. But it's now. time to go home now. <laughs> but I like yeah. it my experience. So when I read, I'm like, it was because loyalty, that's what I'm like, okay, loyalty is law. I love it. Just that word within itself. And law, like, because it is. So tell me a little bit about that. Like, it's, I know it's some true and fiction, but it's like, damn. Okay. Be specific. Like, well, so that I can know what I. I mean, just talk about it. Like, the, like the, the, I mean, nothing specific. I just liked it. It was my favorite. Talk about the yeah. whole book for me. No, I want to hear about Loyalty as well. I like no, I want to hear a little bit about it because I really it was like <laughs> like see, yeah. Let me see, let me he was talking see. about um uh, Reese. You ain't like then he had some girl and you was friends with the baby the the baby mama. Then it switched over to here come the new baby mama. You didn't like her. Okay. And so and so you so, get what I'm saying? It's okay. like girl drama. You know what I mean? So I'm okay. like okay. So I'm gonna go with the character name. Okay. Yes, the character. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this is big um. Okay. So, Reese is Big Unk's 
He want to show you. He's so oh, precise. Okay. He, he want to show no. it. I so know you are. <laughs> is my best friend. Okay. And that is his baby mama. But before mm -hmm. they had kids, he was with her. Mm -hmm. And this was my friend. Mm -hmm. So that's where me and her, we didn't like each other mm -hmm. because he was with my friend. And I'm like. It was on site. Right. That's what the book said. Basically, yeah. I broke it down. He was on site. On site. When but you he it, wasn't yeah. having that. Like, yeah. he like, no. Yeah. Like, no. Mm -hmm. But it was like, she was from a different neighborhood. But like, Warren and Mac kind of. I know, know Warren and like, Mac. Oh, I know. Right. So. Mm -hmm. It was just like at the end of the day, we didn't like each other, but he wasn't having it. He like no, because back then we were best friends. So mm -hmm. he like no, you my best friend. This <laughs> is my, you yeah. know, yeah. we ain't about to real have shit. That. Like it be real scenarios. Like, like it's real, yeah. So that is relatable. That's yeah. why I like it's relatable. So yeah. big unk. Okay, remember I mentioned the girl Sean, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Zay, which is Zoe, mm -hmm. that's my cousin. Mm -hmm. She was going with TP. So TP <laughs> and big unk was like. Main man. Okay. So Sean and Reese was right hands. Me and Zay, you feel me? We mm -hmm. this my first cousin. We rock yeah. it. So what's up? It was a lot of yeah. So yeah. It was just it right. was crazy because they would never let nothing happen. Like they calling us like come beat the yeah. Like, but would not never let nothing happen to them because at the end of the day they was rocking with them too, yeah. and that's why I can respect them so much yeah. that because. Mm -hmm. It was they like no, we not about to have that. Like you, my friend, but this my my relation. This ain't. It's like it's reality because you can have two sets of people exactly. that don't like each other, but you got to learn how to distinguish those yep. relationships and have the loyalty in place in different. Because I believe loyalty comes in tears and it come, it expires too. Absolutely. So I believe that I'm very heavy on loyalty. If I can't trust your ass, I don't want to be bothered with you. Period. <laughs> so, so yeah, the yeah. girl Sean was his best friend too. Mm -hmm. So I was his best friend and then Sean was his best friend also. Mm. But when Reese got pregnant, um she basically asked him like, okay, so which which one you're gonna choose like to be <laughs> yeah. your child's godmother. So she said he basically was like, I'm choosing Sharon, like mm -hmm. off the bill. So mm -hmm. that really gave me like, oh yeah, he already knows what's up. Yeah. But um, our relationship changed throughout the years, but it was never no like bad blood or nothing. Mm -hmm. We just like grew apart. Like that's when ex it ex sometimes it don't expire; it just transcends into yeah. the next. Yeah. So, but when yeah. we see each other, it was like, okay, what's up? Like mm -hmm. we, you know, we you were still caught. Good. You Everything picked right back good. up yeah. where y'all ended. Where we left off. Yeah, yeah. I, that was. My, I'm just saying that I liked the chapter and that was dope. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. my favorite chapter was I want to say chapter. I'm going to go with chapter three. Three. So what about three? It's like what? Okay, so chapter three. Well, I can't really say my favorite chapter, though, because chapter three is of my favorite, too. And then the one um, when I was basically talking about Gucci Jones or whatever, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I put my all into that chapter okay, okay? okay. that was the hardest okay. chapter yeah, that was the one, mm -hmm. that that was the one, one. who yeah. like tears like mm -hmm. i'm like oh shit the ink wet <laughs> like yeah, i'm yeah. dropping tears yeah, like, you put your but, real that re, it, it, hit, it hit that emotional yeah, yeah, yeah so uh chapter two was basically about uh jerome which is my stepbrother okay um the addiction so that was like my favorite chapter because of course it's different addictions but an alcohol addiction and a drug addiction is an addiction. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like I don't have an addiction, but I can drink every day. You so know you what can I'm saying? See so it I can, right. Yeah. So with him, I was just like, like why? Like why? Like, why? But nobody will never really understand why. Mm -hmm. So I could say that that is my favorite chapter because stuff that we go through every day, we be looking at other people different, but yet you going Damn, they're doing the same thing, or yeah. it's gonna lead up to. Something similar, so I can say that that was one of my favorite chapters. And tell, so tell a tell a world how they can purchase, so you can get that coin, and you can get your <laughs> you, yeah. So they can the enjoy book this is book. on Amazon. Picture life after this, and I also have them on hand. You can follow me on Facebook at Sharon Trotter, or you could go on Amazon. Yeah, it's picture life after yeah. this. Yes. Now we we definitely want you to come back. Again. Yeah, I told you. Oh no no no, <laughs> we had a whole little conversation because I okay. know you got 
it's Virgo season. It's your birthday and all, but you, we gonna have a little <laughs> toxic girl session. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, so good. we didn't already. I didn't talk. want to slip up and say that, but yeah. But I'm, oh, I'm telling it. It's, it's <laughs> well, that's too good. I welcome yeah, that. because you know it's a little. We got a little something to say. So I mean, I'm, I'm engaged, that. but I'm human. I was before I found my man. I, and I, was, I got that. a little some stories to tell too. This show is versatile. Hmm. I want every angle. <laughs> yes. We gonna so have Taylor do an episode. Taylor being here laughing. What the look? She be looking over there. Taylor gonna do an episode. Yes. She be here with us with the foolery. It be foolery, but good foolishness. Like it's fun. I told you, like it's this is a safe space. I yeah. enjoy yeah. seeing now, for now yes, that you for see us easy, and, you know. Yeah. yeah. When we at home, it'll be a lot different. So yeah, but yeah. we definitely gonna have that girl session. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> gotta come back for sure. For sure. I will come back, it and I'm gonna purchase the book too because I want to read it. I Good wish read. I would have read it before Good you came. But so you probably would have ripped out. the first forty-eight me for real if you would have read that book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, I'm, that's why I'm like, it's, it's some, it's some stuff in it, but it's good. It remind me of like, it can, like, you know, like some on TV, like some gangsterish kind of, you know, that real raw uncut. So it's mm-hmm. real. And that's what I like about it. It's real. It's real. And it's relatable. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's yes. the word that I was looking for. Like, I did that because it's people that's going through the same thing that I went mm-hmm. through. And maybe since I, you know, wrote the book, maybe they can picture life after whatever they going through, or they can learn to talk to somebody, but Mm -hmm. we need to like work on normalizing, talking to people, talking to somebody that you could trust. Like where there is, I don't like write it down, burn it up, just get it out. Like bottling stuff is not healthy. It tear you up mentally and it actually tore me up mentally, but I was strong enough and had like the support that like kept me afloat, but yeah, bottling stuff, you would think like, oh, I'm bottling this, I'm being strong. No. Mm, the whole time it's you... terrible, tearing yeah. you down. Did real. therapy make you stronger in the sense of being able to help you, other people through stuff? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did it did it help you like yeah. um, be able to vent more and open up a little more? Yeah, dope. Okay. Therapy is dope. Yeah, because yeah, some I'm able people do therapy you don't. Ready. Like some people still what? be in that shell and you can see that therapy hasn't been helping them because they're not really giving well, you know, it they all. Like, if you go in there and don't really give up, man. So, this is the thing, because I'm realistic. I mean, yeah, we can all namaste and therapy and talk it out. But some people just feel a little BS. So, you got to be open and front and be able to yeah. accept yeah. your issues when you go into therapy. It's not put it on everybody. You got to go in yeah. and say, I ain't shit. I did this bad, that, and the third. <laughs> Let that therapist <laughs> know that you are toxic if you yeah. are. People don't do that. So, it has to be to get effective therapy. You got to be open and to be receptive and be honest. People don't do that. They go in there, oh, everybody this and that against me, and they just the, vi- the victim. No. They act like no. they don't first. When I went in, because like, I used you to can see tell a therapist. This the truth. I was like, I had a point where everything was coming at me. I went to therapist. I'm like, look. I'm, my attitude like club. I don't feel like fucking nobody. Something's wrong with me. Right. And I'm like, I, I need to get out of this. So I need you to help me right. figure out what it is with me. Mm. Because I was literally, but all the stuff that I had bottled up, like you say, talking about stuff, you got to express that, but you got to express that in a safe space. Yep. And sometimes just be with yourself. Mm. Sometimes you got to, like my relationship with God, that shit is, it's real. Excuse me, I'm cousin saying the Lord, forgive me. My relationship with we, God is knows. real. Yeah. Like it's spiritual because I know there is a God. So I say that to say, sometimes you got to thug it out on your own and tap into yourself yeah. and see what's wrong with you. Because everybody, it's nobody on this earth that can help you through anything but you. You was born by yourself. Mm-hmm. When you go, that soul of yours is going where it's going, wherever it's going, up or down, wherever it's going, it's going by yourself. So you got to, and I say that to say, therapy is real. People really need to see because all this displaced anger that people sprewing out everywhere is only breaking relationships and you're going to mess up relationships that you need. And therapy yeah. is not a form of weakness. No, like, don't it's ever not. Think that you weak because yeah. you asking for help. Like, like yes. you weak when you don't ask for help. Yeah. Exactly, because you be feeling like pure shit and you be, it be everything. When you in a mental space of depression, because everybody is going to go, I'm sorry, the world we living in, it's going to force you to go through something. And mm-hmm. kids, too, even younger kids, they be going through it. So you just got to, like, people just tap in and mental health is real. It's it's really, it's something that people need to take serious. But, Sharon? So what's next? What's yes. next? What is What you got going on? What you, tell us about Sharon. Sharon, Sharon. We like the real Sharon, quick, the Sharon. everyday Sharon. Real quick <laughs> snippet. Uh, okay, so I really want to turn it into, like, a series. Okay. Like, I want to have multiple parts like mm-hmm. two three maybe four okay make it to five but i really want to turn it into a movie okay oh, that's- uh, put it onto the universe you just yes, spoke it of course i've been yeah. speaking it and i want to film some of it at my grandmother's house because 
she's had that house for about 50 something years like a lot yeah. of generations have been through that house and grandma house is grandma oh, house yeah. When you I go like to grandma grandma. House. Yes, I love it. It's just, it's, a, it's just like it's the realness. It's just like, and it's so much history. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even the you know, pictures and everything. I just feel like every time I go over, I just look at a different wall because it's like it's, and I love it because it's family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's real, and you don't see a lot of that in this day and age. People don't even family don't people don't take that serious. But yeah, yes. So I want to have a couple of more parts, and then I want to turn in. Okay. Sure. Well, we gotta have That's you back. The plan. That's the plan. Yeah, we want you back for sure. Yeah, because we be running, we gonna be we be running short, girl. Okay. We be having this good conversation. We gonna have you back. We thank you for being here tonight. Thank, thank you for so spending thank some time at the table. <laughs> see, Next, it was easy. Yeah, see, no. at first I was nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I I asked one day. <laughs> no. so, yeah. It wasn't it was that just bad. a different experience, you know, like. It was just different. It's, yeah, it's yeah. like you being. You feel like you being put on the spot. You on the oh, you slide. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, we out here. Yes, so yeah. thanks for coming, having a seat with us at Thank the table. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please come back. It was a good experience. Thanks. I no doubt. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for checking us out. Um, we missed you guys. So. We did. Yeah. So uh -huh. thank you so much. Thank you, everybody who's been sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing. Mm -hmm. Greatly appreciate us. it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, Podcast Detroit. Thank you, Detroit Shipping. Thank you to our visiting home. In I know. I want to go back home, though. I'm ready to <laughs> Thank you back. so much, Sophia. I miss it. <laughs> and have a good week, guys. Be Thank nice guys. to people and spread positivity. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Eastside. <laughs> <laughs>